something that showed up maybe 10 days ago before St. Patrick's Day. Now, Lapwing is a really cool bird. It's a foot-long shorebird. It is the national bird of Ireland, and it's very lossless bird. They should basically be north of Africa right now, and they're here on the east coast of North America. But not just, like, one lapwing. Not just one northern lapwing. Because, like, one's a big deal. Like, around here, a lapwing shows up. That's, like, that's, like, the holy grail of birds right there. But if one shows up, that's, like, a really big deal. And not just one has showed up, but this has been what they call an eruption year for the lapwing. So, like, however the cause of it, I think there was one in 2012 to 2013 where they had a bunch of lapwing reports along the east coast of America. But this year, right, uh, 2021 to 2022, there's been another lapwing invasion. And, like, they've just been coming and, like, going. Some have been staying for a while, some only a couple days. But the point is, there have been a lot of lapwings, and it's just, like, a matter of time until, like, one showed up in the Mass, New Hampshire area. And sure enough, uh, Steve, Steve Myrick finds one out in a farm. In southern New Hampshire, it's in Rockingham. And there's this, like, lapwing on a farm, and he, like, gets the word out to a bunch of people, tells it where it is, and a bunch of people go over there. They get their lapwing. And this is, like, a huge deal. Like, everyone loves the lapwing. It's, like, a couple days before St. Patrick's Day. This is also a St. Patrick's Day special. And everyone's going out there getting their lapwing photos. And it goes, like, missing for a little bit, but lapwings usually don't, like, leave midday. They'll, like stay until night and then that's when they'll move but there's so people get it it goes missing they refind it in a field and they're just getting it and it's in a field with a lot of other killdeers and i was kind of thinking earlier that day i'm like i heard my first of the year killdeers that day or something and i'm like maybe i should check for lapwings because like killdeer migration lapwings are an early migrant and i get this email and it's about the northern lapwing in rockingham so I'm like super excited and I'm like, I need to go today. So I like figure it out and I'm just waiting the rest of the day. And then I head up there and it was really cool. We got over, I basically almost jumped out of the car like while I was still moving to get out. And I went over, I like quickly scan the field. I look around and sure enough, this green foot long shorebird, slightly bigger than the killed deer, this bright white belly, this, like, kind of dusky face, and had two little plumes coming up the back, and had this, like, down drooping bill, and I'm just looking at it, and for the next, like, 30 minutes to an hour, and I'm watching this northern lapwing, which is probably my favorite bird through the scope. Actually, not my favorite bird, but it's my favorite shorebird, and shorebirds are basically my favorite group of birds, so that means a lot to me, and they're a bird I've always hoped to see. And I think they're just a really cool bird. If you, I don't know, if you don't know what a lapwing is, they're really cool. And, I'm, and you're showing them what they are in the video right now. They're like on screen, I think. Because I do the audio, then I do the thing. But that doesn't matter. So I basically sort of just wanted to tell you about the northern lapwing stuff. And I also had this idea where I do like an identification thing with like short build, dowitch, and long build. Tell me what you think of that. If you enjoyed the video, you can watch some more of our videos. They're kind of similar to this. Hopefully you enjoyed. I don't know, I sort of just wanted to get this video out on St. Patrick's Day. Hey, right, goodbye. Today, I'm not going to 